it's not a game, it's a rich thing. Yo, welcome back guys uh, to the channel. Uh, been out for a little bit, medical reasons, but I'm okay today. Uh, we'll wanna get back on the element. Um, I should get back on it sooner, but uh, I keep constantly getting interrupted, unfortunately. Uh, I'm gonna try to get back to everything and also get back on the CTS. I have a lot of parts came in for it, but I haven't had time to uh, work on it and also work on an element. Um, me being out here is just kind of hard. It's not so I'm gonna give you a quick rundown uh, about the element and what I have done so far. Oh, and it is a big problem with it. Um, one of the problems is it won't start anymore and I believe it's the fuel pump. It's looking like the fuel pump from everything I looked at and checked on. Um, so one of the things is a cycle. Uh, Scott told me, my friend Scott, he told me to turn it on, turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, and then see if it'll start. And yes, it does, because it seems like the pump is working, but it's not to its full potential. And I don't have a fuel pressure gauge to actually check it. So I, I ordered the fuel pump so I'm, that should be here tomorrow uh, so I might end up going to start tearing it apart but I am going to show you guys where the fuel uh, pump door access is at oh so let me just give you a quick brief overview I did put a bull bar on on there you can see that uh, I haven't done the lights yet I did put fog lights in uh, those are up and working I still got a little more on that to do and also put on a roof rack and I did put on also the uh, tail light guards. I, I, I don't know, a lot of people don't like them. I, uh, I kind of like them, actually. It was a pain, uh, honestly. I think the uh, roof rack was a lot easier. And I uh, know fog lights. Fog lights was like 30 minutes. With a whole cut them out, put them in with wire harness. Uh, I'll probably put the link down below uh, to show you where I got those for if anybody wants to get them. They're super easy to install, really easy. I mean, it is kind of late right now. And oh, let me just show you. Let me just show you where the, uh, the uh, fuel pump access is at. Uh, let's see, open this up here. I got tools in there already. <laughs> okay so the fuel pump access oh i took i just took that that part off um the door trim down at the bottom because i want to see if it's how easy it's going to be and i believe it's right here so i'm gonna have to remove the seats and peel this mat back now the reason why i didn't want to jump i kind of don't want to jump in at this late i mean i actually could but it's like five o'clock and now, you know, it gets dark really fast. And uh, I know if I start pulling this out, I'm gonna to, going to clean everything. So I was gonna just wait till tomorrow and, uh, and work on it, trying to get it back up and going. Let me uh, go on the other side and show you guys the uh, fog light switch. See how dirty? dirty it is so I kind of want to want to clean all of that because it's gonna bug the crap out of me but this is the fog light switch here it only comes only works with the key on um, for that so I gotta get that going there but other than that I believe that's it but I do want to get my truck fixed I, I need that um, it seemed like all my cars got problems all of them <laughs> so let's get started on uh, ripping the, the inside out I think I want to do that if not I will probably pick up back tomorrow good morning welcome back guys 
so um, I'm back on element uh, I made another clip and I was gonna do that and then I start working right after that but other things came up as usual and as soon as I started to work on element this morning some more things come up you know oh it's just driving me crazy so anyway I started working on it uh, element like I said I pulled out the trim uh, this back cover and I took one of the seats out because I wanted to see how easy it was it was actually really easy it was so easy to kind of scare me so I was like oh this can't be right <laughs> so the next thing I want to do I'm gonna remove all the body panels inside and I got to get those front seats out because I want to clean I want to take everything out like I normally do uh, so I won't have any problems or trying to pull back the this mat thing uh, and just and then after I do that I'm gonna go ahead and and um, clean everything get everything uh, squeaky clean before I get interrupted again I'm pretty sure I will so let's get started probably tons of uh, vi uh, videos out there showing you how to remove these and uh, I actually really didn't look for one but if you watch my channel you I'm gonna give you a bird's eye view. Get it, bird's eye. <laughs> to uh, take these out. So it, right now they have to be in the upright position uh, with this clamp. You just push it forward, pull out the clamp. And uh, what I did, uh, I let it down, and then it's a little lever here. You pull that, and it comes out. Now when I did it the first time, I thought I broke it because it came out so easy. I was like, oh, that can't be right. So the next step, I'm gonna leave. Are you you're supposed to pull this up? But I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it like this so you guys can see. And um, it's a little lever here. You have to pull that lever down, and it comes forward, forward, and then out. That's it. Yeah, that, that that's it. That's all to it. And then you could just do that. Take the seats out and then you can tell whoever tried to ride with you hey man you know what i don't have it's a, just a two-seater unless you want to lay in the back but that's you get an accident and you're in trouble that's mean <laughs> but most of the time people take these seats out to uh build like a little bed thing back here and watching the videos they make it look like it's so roomy I am standing up in this joker, somewhat. Well, bending over, but still standing up. But it is it is quite a quite a bit of room. But this has a lot of I I, I think that's dog hair. I'm not sure. Probably human hair too. All my cars are hairless, just like me. Yeah. Uh, I guess. Now I'm kind of trapped in here a little bit. Go out this way. Alrighty. So the next thing I want to do is remove these front seats. Uh. I guess it's a it's a bolt there it looks like and let's see maybe this cap comes off yeah there we go probably need to watch some YouTube videos on this <laughs> how to remove it yeah so it's a bolt there there's one there but how do you get to the back ones ah there we go Oh, yeah, 
just a couple of bolts there. Oh, okay, I see how the mat separates from this point. I see the fuel cap, the fuel access panel. Uh, let's get tools to remove that. Okay, just the, the two bolts in the front. I'm not sure how to get that off. I might as well do some investigating. Okay, so I see you have to uh, pull the whole cover up. It's like spring loaded, and then it just pop right out. That was pretty cool. So, we're back, got everything um, cleaned up here. It was pretty, it, it, it was bad, but I seen a lot worse. Uh, this wasn't too bad at all. It was just like one soda spill. I have some that was completely trashed, but this one cleaned up really good. So now uh, it's time for me to get this uh, access cover off so we can get to the fuel pump. So I'm hoping, I'm thinking that is the problem, but at least I don't have new fuel pump. <laughs> some of this down so I won't get any trash down in it.
Alrighty, that's looking uh, pretty clean there. Uh, let me see if I can get you a little closer. Now, there's no way I'm going to twist this off, so I got a little hammer. Well, this is a hammer, just screw it I'm just going to slightly tap around it to loosen up the ring. I try not to stay in one spot because it most likely will probably shear the ears off. that drain a little bit. Fix it right here. Uh, I was gonna go get the table and stuff, but uh, I don't feel like it. So I'm just gonna rebuild her right here on the ground. Alrighty, there we go. trash down in there. Uh, 
All right, so let me show you the difference between the two fuel pumps. This one is going to be a little bit stronger. I think it's at 225. Um, No, it's at 229, no, 244. So this pump is a little bit more than this. Now on this OEM, it has these, uh, get out of here mosquito. It has these two little hook right here, but this pump doesn't have it. The plug is correct, everything else is correct. So what I did was went on ahead and just zip tight it's like it was designed for zip ties <laughs> because it's got a little opening here and here and that should that should definitely keep it from uh, from coming down or moving let me put one more here so I can lock it just in case there I wish this was turned a little bit more, but I can't. Alrighty, so got it back together, got it all plugged in. So I'm hoping it'll work. Uh, let's put it in real quick. Alrighty, so. I'm gonna put the, uh, the pump back in. down there now what I should have done was uh, check it before I took it out like this just to see if I can hear it but oh well let me go grab the key All right, got the key. let's see if I hear okay I hear it and get all the air out Quick update, I got the element back together, all back together, all nice and clean, clean, 
Smells pretty good. Yes, I did wipe everything down with Lysol towels. <laughs> like the, the, the disinfective, so it is corona free. Oh, I need to get that tape off over there. I'll do that one day. But it's all clean. The fuel pump is working. But it still don't start. <laughs> don't know why. I don't know why it won't start. Uh, for some reason, out of the blue, I got it in one day, started up just fine. I drove it for a second. I mean, for a second, like two houses over. Cut it off, let it chill for a little bit. Cause I was talking to someone and I got back in it and it hesitated to start for a very long time. So I, and then it finally started. Cool, not a problem. That was weird. So then I come home, park it. And then the next day, same thing, but it kind of stumbled over and started. After that, it didn't want to start anymore. Not even attempting. So I have no idea what it is. It could be a, so it's gotta be a, one of the sensors or something. I'm not getting a check engine light yet because it's not starting. But something either came unplugged or I unplugged something by accident. Something happened. But the uh, but the fuel pump is working. So I was gonna work on the rear end today, but my back is killing me. I'm leaning over and cleaning all that stuff out. So I'm 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 done. Um, the next uh, so the next video. Uh, I will probably work on a rear end just because I don't know if it ever been changed. I pretty much changed everything on this car and um, I'm gonna have to take take it once I get it all going to get the transmission service basically looked at see if any any seals or or uh, fluid or anything because I can't I can't do any of that stuff here um, but um, I got it on a charger hopefully hopefully that'll help. I doubt it because it wouldn't even start with my jump pack so other than that uh, please guys stay tuned please comment like subscribe please just comment if you know exactly what's going on uh, let me give you a little close look here so nothing I can see has been unplugged nothing leaking no smoke no nothing uh, I have no idea what it is. I will one day, and then I'll let you guys know. I'll let you let me know in, in advance. But um, I'm no for a fact it's not the the fuel pump now. <laughs> it's definitely not the fuel pump. Um, the fuel filters changed. Uh, yeah, just the rear end, and hopefully one day I get it started where I could like really drive it, drive it, because I haven't even driven it far as I driven it was to like AutoZone and that was only a couple miles away but it actually drives pretty good with the large tires and everything no road noise none of that none of that stuff so I was I was very happy for that so the next thing like I said I'm gonna do the rear end hopefully I can figure out why I won't start and I'm gonna drive it for a while until I can find somebody that could fix that seat I wish it's I'm gonna have to take it somewhere unless I could find another green element well I doubt it because all element seats are like that I think that was like factory to have it cracked and everything and it would be nice if somebody makes OEM replacement covers because they'll make a killing because every every element needs new seat covers and pretty much all cars the driver's seat on the left side as you're sitting in it it always either wear out tear crack or something and nobody only they make seat covers like you cover over the cracks and tears but I don't want to actually replace the OEM the 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 seat itself the fabric whatever the cover <laughs> so um, other than that please guys stay tuned and I'll check you out later deuces